Burn, America, burn. You're lighting the fire. I didn't light it. I didn't start the fire. It, it, I guess it was always burning, but the world keeps turning. I put a picture of Helena Christensen up because she's the hottest chick who ever lived. And I'm just sick of, look at, I'm sick of looking at Trump. Uh, my heart goes out most to the newscasters like CS, MSNBC, who have to deal with this every day because they're going to need therapy. Um, this maniac should not be tolerated, but yet he is, and okay, fine. I'm in Canada, so it's really not my job. I feel like it's my job, but you know what? You want to burn your country down, fine. Um, Republicans are, um, um, Democrats. Democrats are, uh, sitting by and letting him waltz around, um, Listen, you know how you deal with, with Malfoy in Harry Potter? You ignore him when he... Hey, Potter. What are you doing, Potter? You a dumbass, Potter. You ignore him. And then he, his power goes away. You ignore Trump. You you, you, you impeach him. You, you... Nothing. You should never respond to anything he says. Ever. Like, you want to re-elect this monster who makes monsters look bad? You want to make... You want to make him... You want to put him in charge. You want to, uh... You want to destroy your whole family with the virus. Okay, then. <laughs> I mean, whatever. <laughs> if that's what you guys all want. You know, I'm just sick of, uh, I'm sick of the United States. They were already on their way out. <laughs> and now their movie industry's done. It's all done. Even, even if Biden wins, it's like too little too late, you know? And then they're going to have Trump in court for like t 20 years. He, he'll... He'll outlive the, the, the fucking trials. They'll never put him in jail, which is exactly what he deserves. But he'll never get that. Uh, the system is broken, and you know what? The world is, is continuing without America. It's going to take years for America to recover their reputation, to rebuild it, because they blew it. And you know what? The thing is, this is what America's always stood for, was uh, getting rich as hell. And so they nom they elected a guy that's rich as hell, and, and look look where that path led. And you want to know how to deal with Trump? The same way you deal with every bully, you kick him in the balls, or grab him more more correctly, grab him by the pussy. Oh, he'll fall so fast, but like, they're all it's, it's pussies. You're you're fucking pussies. Uh, when somebody doesn't play by the rules, do you keep playing with them? No, you don't. You say, game over. It's over. He should be gone right now. He should be gone four years ago. So I'm losing faith in uh, Joe Biden and all the people that hate Trump because they're not ever putting their balls on the line. They're just kind of sitting there while he does everything he does. You can't just sit there. you got to, like, grow up here. So I'm, I'm in uh, Canada... And I guess while we're waiting, while the rest, while the entire world waits for America to grow a pair, we'll move on. We'll move on. I guess the American Empire is gone. I guess it's done. They're not. They're no longer the the superpower. They're they're kind of a joke now. That's fine. And but my only concern is, uh, I hope that stay the hell out of Canada. Like don't bring that shit here. <laughs> my only concern is if douchebag gets reelected. He'll, he'll want to conquer Canada. Something like that. But, like, that's my only concern. Just stay away. These guys are, are fucking... What do they call them? Lepers. America. It, it's a land of lepers at this point. It's the United States of Russia, isn't it? And uh, I love Dostoevsky. There's some brilliant Russian people, but... I don't know what they're doing. Shit's about to hit the fan. As if it hasn't already with this... <laughs> with this fuck <laughs> with this virus the intelligent Americans are going to get the hell out of there as soon as possible they'll probably be moving to Canada and that's fine like I welcome any nice people but uh on behalf of uh the world we're just going to move on we're just going to move on and we're going to exile the United States because they got their head up their ass so far that it's practically gotten back up to their head. <laughs> <laughs>
So my resolution, I think, I'm just sick of Trump's face and his voice. And I'm sick of hearing Americans get all up in arms every day that he says something uh, so bad that, like, he should be... <laughs> I guess you can't say it until he's not president anymore. I'm, I'm just done. I'm done. And uh, I'm just going to move on. Um, I'm, I'm no longer going to even speak to Americans unless I know that they're anti-Trump. I'm not, like, America's just gone. It, it's just like, I'm just going to pretend it doesn't exist because because it's dead. It's already dead. It's already dead. You know, uh, watching the United States right now is kind of like watching somebody who's dying of cancer where you go through the grieving process ahead of time. And then by the time they die, you're like, oh, well, you know, I saw it coming, you know. Or, like, I've had friends who, it, they keep self-destructing, and I'm like, well, where is rock bottom for you? Right? Like, when when do you say enough is enough? When do you say, uh, maybe I have a problem? Well, United States shows no signs of it. Like, they're, they're literally killing themselves. And this is what happens when you worship money, okay? Worship money over family or uh, health or science. This is the end result. So at this point, I think I'm just going to move on, you know. I'm sick of feeling bad for the United States. They have to deal with it themselves. I'm just going to talk about, from now on, I'm just going to deal and focus, deal with and focus on everything else. <laughs> And there's a lot. So uh, I'm going to, and I'm going to uh, toast, I'm going to roast marshmallows while I watch America burn. Burn America, burn. If you support gays, click like. If you respect blacks, comment. If you think women are people too, click the notification bell. And if you care about sick children, subscribe.